So today is, I believe, the 19th of uh, April 2020. And this is a, a video of an update on my 68 Charger RT. I've been doing a lot of work on this lately, uh, mocking up the panels to fit uh, prior to welding. And it's uh, been a, quite a chore because a lot of these panels, uh, they're not really made to fit uh, right out of the box. And uh, we, uh, we, meaning me, have to uh, adjust the panels as they're going on. Um, these things are a good quality. And what I mean good quality, I mean they're thick metal, nicely built and nicely contoured. But they're really not uh, something you'd expect to find uh, fit on uh, first application. Every one of these pieces that I've uh, put on here so far have uh, taken quite a bit of adjustment to fit. Fortunately for me, I've taken some photos of the car prior to disassembling. And I also had the opportunity last year to have a 68 Charger here, uh, which was uh, unrestored, it was completely original. Uh, in fact, it was getting a vinyl top put on it so that I actually had it here overnight, which allowed me to take photos of the underside and the fitment of all the various panels. Now, there are some that I didn't get a shot of. For instance, this lower valence, uh, the way these uh, little tabs cross into the rear cross member. I uh, went ahead and put these on and now I find that actually they're supposed to be, uh, they're supposed to have a little jig to them. This part here is supposed to actually go up and then over and this uh, piece here doesn't go as far across into this tab. So I have to actually adjust this. I believe this actually has to go down. How that's going to happen, I'm not quite sure yet. I guess I'll figure it out. Now this uh, this frame jig has been a real great item. Uh, I built this back in 2012. <laughs> oh my God, time goes by so fast. And uh, this has been, uh, this charger has been sitting on it since at least 2013. I uh, put it on the jig and then I cut all the panels off. Now the panels that were on the car most of the ones that were on the back of the car were these previous panels that I had bought back in the early 1990s. And uh, I don't know who manufactured them, but they were sold by Cross Canada Auto Body. And I picked them up in Winnipeg and I brought them back to my place in Cottonwoods, Manitoba. And uh, I put them on the car. I have lots of pictures of me with the panels all over the ground. and. The car cut apart and this was in 1993 so I put the panels on and uh, as a matter of fact the the quarter panel uh, was still up here like the original quarter panel was up top and I'd cut it off about here and I butt welded the new panel all the way across and metal finished it and it looked really good but the downside to the darn thing uh, was that it was made out of really super thin metal and uh, so I took the car to Edmonton to get it. Uh, I, I paid to have it dipped. And what they did instead was media blasted and uh, they warped all the panels that I'd put on. They were basically crap panels to begin with. And that reinforced it um, in the process. And, and the reason I paid for the dipping was to get rid of rust. Well, there was rust underneath this uh, primer that was on the old panels and it's just like what you can see right here uh, with this uh, uh, aftermarket panel. It's not an AMD piece, it was sold by AMD, but so this is exactly what was happening underneath the uh, primer on the old panels and it was just spreading like, like a plague. Uh, it took the heart out of me to see that happen after all the work I'd put into it and then after it got those pieces got warped, I just said to hell with this, I'm cutting it all off. And I did. And then some guy actually bought all the parts, which was kind of unusual. He couldn't afford to fix his charger. So I took great pains to take the panels off. Rather than just slice them, I actually removed them. And then you can see 
the effect of removing them up here in this uh, Dutchman panel. Uh, it caused me a lot more work than I, I should have had. And uh, in the process, I ended up with uh, a car that was all cut up and a lot of panels that were no good. But fortunately, uh, I was working out west at the time and I was making some real good money. So I bought all the panels I needed to finish this car, including this rocker panel. Now, a lot of people don't put rocker panels on their car. They'll patch them. And uh, back when I first built this car in the early 1990s, uh, it had the typical rust grate around the cross member underneath, and I patched it up. And, uh, and I never even drove the car, and it was already rusting out, rusting through the patches that I put on. And they were good quality patches, but the way it goes, it seems, is that uh, if you uh, upset the metal by welding it, it'll actually induce corrosion. And that was what was happening with this car, is that wherever the welds were, uh, there, was, there was corrosion happening. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to dip it, because I just wanted to nip it in the bud, and uh, so I did. And so when I got the car out of the, uh, the dipping shop, I should call it the media blasting shop, because that's what they did, uh, I inhibited the whole car with this LPS-1, I think, and it's kind of like a wax oil, and it comes right off. Well, it's supposed to anyway. It's uh, a very oily kind of product, but it's dried on there now. You can hardly even tell. Uh, there you go. You can see some of that coming off. Um, so anyway, the whole car is covered with this stuff, and it kept it from rusting over the last 15 years. 15 years. Hmm. So in that 15 years, it's been here and it's been on a rotisserie and it's been on this jig uh, and it hasn't been together. So life gets in the way sometimes and you try to do what you can to make things happen. And it just so happened that uh, I'm here now and it's getting done. So uh, anyway, back to the rocker panel. So I decided that I was going to take the rockers off um, and put new ones on. Nobody likes to do this job and I can understand why, but knowing that it had to be done. That's the reason I built this jig. Uh, it supports the body on all of the various points that are supposed to be supported according to the uh, frame diagram that's in the, the service manual, the Mopar service manual for a 1968 Charger. And it, uh, so it's just pretty level. I built these jacks uh, to level it up and I have my little uh, levels on there now and I also have a four foot level that I use so anyway this side is completely level and I did the other side previously uh, and it allowed me to get these this rocker panel on there perfectly level uh, and as per normal it didn't fit the first time I had to actually make it fit um, so it took a two by four and a sledgehammer and uh, it fits <laughs> it shouldn't take that much work to make something fit but you know, that's the way these, these things happen. And my friend Daryl Clausen surmised that they must stamp these things out and uh, stack them on top of each other. And by the time you get to the top of the stack, they're totally deformed. And I think the, the ones off the top of the stack get sent to Canada. Hmm, my theory. Anyhow, uh, so we, the whole thing had to be squished together. And you can actually see here uh, the way it's bulging up right here because it needs to come down. And uh, I got to force that down so I can clamp it onto the inner frame. And I haven't put any screws in yet because it's not in position. Uh, but if I were to take this off, I'm sure it'll bounce up. Yeah, there it goes. It just, it just jumped up like a quarter of an inch. And I, I bet you, yeah, that's about half an inch there that it's got to come down. Not a surprise. Uh, the other side, I, I did put that on. It was the same thing. And then I had... Uh, a lot of hassle with the wheelhouses. Uh, the one wheelhouse hiding behind the door over there was from the other side of the inner wheelhouse. And it's, uh, I'm gonna say, it's a piece of crap because I took the old wheelhouse off, the old inner wheelhouse, just like this one on the other side, and uh, it, it wouldn't fit. It just did not fit, period. Um, I tried to make it fit. Uh, you know, short of cutting it and, and pie cutting it and welding it back together, it's not going to fit. It's not going to ever fit. 
So I uh, I put the old wheelhouse back on and it's got to be repaired now because it's been off. And uh, the, the bottom of the wheelhouse, just like this one here, um, you know, it's got a fair share of corrosion, just like that. Uh, along the flange where it mounts to the uh, trunk pan, it destroyed, just like this one. And uh, so I have to cut this all off and put a new piece on and put a patch in, which is exactly what I wanted to avoid with this car. I did not want any patches in it at all. I wanted nothing but sheet metal that spot welded to itself. And uh, now I have to actually, oh, it pissed me off. It pissed me off because I actually have to put a patch in this car to make it work. And I spent, I don't know how much, 500 bucks for those 200 pieces? $500 wasted. Yes. Anyhow, so I have uh, this one to repair. I gotta fix the flange. Now, the story of this, this whole business with this car, uh, it came out of Manitoba. I bought it in 1991. Actually, I traded the Roadrunner for it. And you know, it looked really solid. It looked solid. I knew it had body fill in it. Um, but the floors were good. The frame rails are good. As you can still see, the frame rails are really, really nice. Um, and I, I thought, okay, here's a car that's worth fixing up. It's a Charger. Everybody loves Chargers. I love Chargers. It, it could be a done deal here. So I, I uh, traded the Roadrunner, which was, yeah, it was pretty nice. Um, it needed quarter panels too. I mean, I fixed the quarters on the Roadrunner and uh, needed it again, really, because they didn't have aftermarket panels. I made my own panels for the Roadrunner and you could just imagine how good that turned out. Well, it actually did turn out pretty good, but it's not good enough. So when I saw the opportunity to throw the Roadrunner at somebody, I took the, I took this charger and I said, okay, I'll, ta I'll make this happen. About all the panels. What had happened was, in 1986, with that charger, it went to a body shop in Brandon, and uh, they cut the bottom half of the rear quarter panels off. Um, because back then, all you could get was half panels, and uh, they they put half panels on it, and then, because they don't fit, they put about 15 gallons of body fill in each quarter panel, which was just fantastic. And by the time I got the car, that the, the body fill was literally falling off in great swaths so i uh i said okay that's it you couldn't buy full quarter panels ones that go all the way up to the roof so i bought the next best thing the ones that went up over top of the fender of the rear quarter panel and then i cut them and like i say earlier i butt welded them so that was as good as it got but i mean the metal was inferior and i said to myself when i bought this car or i got this car i was going to do the best job that i could on it and when I saw what had happened with those quarters and how it was working out, and I'd also replaced the trunk floor, and I'd replaced the lower valence and the corner caps, um, it just wasn't good enough. And so I cut it all off. So that's one set of quarters. Uh, first the factory quarters, then the half panels. Then I bought those half, those, those partial quarters, the ones that go up to the top. I put those on, but live and learn, uh, because the wheelhouses didn't fit, they actually projected out past the rocker panel, just slightly. I thought that was supposed to be the way it was supposed to go, and uh, I put the rockers on, or put the uh, quarter panels on, and and there was a bulge right there. You could, you know, if you look down the side of the car, you could see this bulge in the quarter panel, and I thought, that can't be right. There's something wrong with that. And uh, so I, I cut it off. I, I did one side and I cut it off. And this is when I lived in Edmonton. And I bought another panel and I put it on. And, uh, and in the process, I actually took that wheelhouse and I pie cut it. Actually, what I did is I cut it off and I put another wheelhouse on. And I pie cut that one so it fit right in with the inner rocker. And then I put that quarter panel on.